Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have another warm day ahead of us today. Temperatures sitting in the mid-80s at the moment with a light west-northwest westerly wind. We take a look at the current surface analysis. We have high pressure pretty much dominating the weather at the moment. We do have an upper-level disturbance off to the southeast that will be moving towards our area and passing just south, uh, bringing us some increase in cloud cover, but not expecting uh, any significant precip with that disturbance. If we take a look at the upper level winds from this morning's balloon sounding, generally westerly winds up through the column, fairly light through the column as well with just a peak wind of 15 knots at 25,000 feet. Otherwise, freezing levels at 13,900 feet. And if we take a look at the current visible satellite, we can see some of that high cloud uh, material that is in our area with just a few cumulus starting to pop up this morning. Uh, we do have plenty of cloud material off to the southeast with that disturbance that will be uh, building into our area. So we'll likely see an increase in some high clouds as we go throughout the day and into the evening this evening. Otherwise, you can see generally west north, west to west northwesterly winds uh, fairly light across the local region at the moment. Take a sh look at the uh, short-term high-resolution model as we go throughout the day today. Expecting things to remain dry with just a very slight chance of a pop-up shower in the area generally north of the local wallops area so expecting things to remain dry as we go throughout the day today and again as this disturbance moves into the area later this afternoon and into the evening it's going to bring us an increase in some cloud cover for the overnight hours and then we'll see that start to decrease again as that disturbance starts to move away from the area and uh, things start to clear out a little bit for our friday morning as we go into Friday, expecting another chance or very slight chance of an afternoon pop-up shower or storm. You can see most of the activity uh, starting to pop up off to the north and west of the local region. Uh, not expecting that to make it to our area as the boundary starts to move towards our area. We'll see most of this activity fizzle out as the sun sets, remaining dry into, into Friday evening. As we go into Saturday, we'll have our best chance of seeing a pop-up shower or thunderstorm in the area, as you can see here. Uh, with that boundary closer to the area, we'll see about a 20% chance of a uh, shower or thunderstorm locally here at Wallops. If we zoom out and take a look at the long-term forecast, again, you'll see here as we get to the afternoon hours on Saturday, we'll have that chance for some pop-up showers and storms locally here and then we'll see that trend to dry out for our Sunday things are remaining mostly dry for Sunday and Monday with you know less than 10 percent chance of seeing a pop-up shower or storm and as we go into Tuesday we'll see the upper level ridge start to break down a bit uh, increasing uh, chances of a pop-up shower or storm but still very slight chance of seeing that until we get into uh, late Tuesday and into Wednesday as this upper level trough starts to dig in across the northeast it's going to bring a surface boundary into our region and with that boundary we could see uh, the chance a better chance of seeing some showers and storms particularly as we get into uh, the later part of the day Wednesday and into Friday but then it looks like things will start to dry out for the end of the week and into the weekend. So looking at the 24-hour weather risk chart, we are green across the board for weather risk today. Uh, partly cloudy to partly sunny day today and hot, expecting a high around 90 degrees with heat index values at or below 95 degrees. Uh, starting off with that westerly wind, it's fairly light. We'll see a shift to more southeasterly winds as we get to the afternoon, possibly gusting up to 15 knots, but uh, nothing too significant as we go into the evening. Again, we'll see that increased cloud cover with just that slight chance of a pop-up shower storm in the area, particularly after 2 p.m. local time. And then that cloud cover will continue as we go through the overnight hours with the winds shifting more south-southwesterly, uh, but still fairly light at 4 to 9 to 6 to 11 knots. And then we'll see that cloud cover start to decrease a little bit as we get into the beginning of our Friday, expecting a low around 72 this evening. If we look at the next couple days, partly cloudy day for Friday, uh, Slightly breezier conditions for our Friday. We could see some gusts up to 20 knots, but not expecting to see a wind advisory at this time. Well, that, again, that very slight chance of an afternoon pop-up shower or storm. And again, we'll see heat index values up to and below 
uh, 95 degrees, but otherwise a high expected around 85. Friday night looks to be quiet, partly cloudy, with a low around 72. And then as we get into Saturday, we do have a yellow risk for precip and lightning. As we get into the afternoon, we'll have that slight chance of the shower. A thunderstorm in the area with a high around 87, otherwise partly to mostly cloudy for our Saturday. If we look at the next couple of days, Sunday and Monday, expecting dry and partly cloudy conditions, again with a minimal chance of a pop-up shower storm with highs in the mid 80s and lows in the lower 70s. As we get into Tuesday, we'll see some cloud cover in increase ahead of that boundary that will be approaching the area, and it will be slightly breezier for our Tuesday and Wednesday with partly to mostly cloudy conditions, highs in the upper 80s around 87 to 89, and lows again in the lower 70s. And then we'll see those chances, our better chances of precip moving into the forecast as we get later in the day on Wednesday, particularly into Thursday, so just a 15% chance for the p.m. hours Wednesday at the moment until we get closer to that event. But again, like, likely that uh, better chance of rain will be coming in the area during the day on Thursday. Well, that will wrap up the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow at 8.15 at 10 a.m. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.